good morning, good morning, gals and guys. Yes, welcome to the Truck or Rudy Show. Yes, indeed, it is an early morning start. It is 5.17 as of right now. So we're going to get ready to get out of here in a few minutes. Yes, indeed, we are. So let's get our day started. That's coming right along with us today in a new territory. Well, not new for some of you, I guess, but some of you it's going to be new. We got some new subscribers. We appreciate you coming on board and riding along with us today. So let's have ourselves a fantastic day and a good show. Stick around for the rest of the video. See what kind of goodies we will be up to today. <laughs> appears at least we are just about to take this exit 24 toward Nashville Tennessee In a yes indeed we are yeah I don't know how far it is still up to Nashville but uh, we'll find out eventually right eventually we'll get closer and we'll know how far it is we still got a good ways to go yet, I'm sure. Looks like we got about 179 miles to go, it looks like. That's what it appears to be. I don't know 100% for sure, but... Yeah, we got 456 miles to go, so that means about 100 miles behind us now. Or just about, anyways. Look at the amazing green grass that we still have down here, eh? Look at that. I'm not even that far from home. I'm only a little over, a, well, 1,700 miles, I guess. No, not 1,700 miles. Uh, I'm about 1,100 miles from home. We got nice green grass up here. Isn't that amazing or what? Yeah, that sun is probably going to start shining a little bit into the camera there, so... Hopefully you can still see outside. Oh, there we go. Now that sun is coming directly in here, so... We're going to go ahead and grab us our sunglasses, sunshade here. Put that on here. So that way we can see too, right? So we don't get blinded by the sun. But yeah. Here we are, just cruising right Kentucky on through well. here. Well guys, we have entered Kentucky here a little bit ago and uh, looks like we're going to be crossing another one of uh, these uh, funny looking bridges or whatever you want to call it. And I've noticed there when we entered Kentucky there over that river there, that's the Ohio River, not this one, but the, when we cross into Ohio, I mean into uh, Kentucky there it was the Ohio River and it was foggy like this too, you know That's just a sign of winter is coming guys Yeah It uh, Definitely froze over here tonight. That's for sure. I Mean you don't see it anymore because of the Sun is up for a while now, but Yeah, it's really foggy where that river river is, you know but other than that, we're having a good day and enjoying the beautiful sunshine up here, that's for sure. Just cruising right on through here. I'll probably make me a pit stop here soon somewhere and get me my half an hour in. And probably go in and have me breakfast or something like that. And then continue on with my journey. Or I might even have breakfast in the truck yet. I haven't. I've been kind of slacking off again a little bit on eating inside the truck, so I should really get back into doing that again. But maybe I'll just have me a small breakfast this morning here, and you know, because I'm going to be done early today, I might just cook me a stew for supper tonight. That might be a good idea. Maybe I'll do that that way. Just take me my quick half an hour break up here somewhere and I don't know, maybe just have me a sandwich or something and that way I got something in something in my stomach and then 
Maybe I'll cook me a good old stew tonight. I haven't done that in a good while, so... Well, at least in a few weeks, I guess, but... That's always nice, too. I love that. Every once in a while, eating a good stew. I love that. I really enjoy that. I really do enjoy cooking in here, too. Especially if I can do it, if, you know, if I'm meeting up with somebody or or whatever, you know, like... Uh, that's really enjoyable when you can have company and do it together, right? Well, there is bound to be a scale open somewhere, right? And this is it, guys. Here we are. We got one of these scales open. <clears throat> Just trying to keep my distance here. So that way uh, they can tell us which way they want me to go. Yeah, everybody's slowing down way more than they need to, I guess, but right here it says 25 miles an hour speed limit. And these guys are almost coming to a stop up here. I'm like, what the heck? Way station ahead. In 900 feet, keep to the left up. on I-24. That's the way I guess it is, but... So far we got the arrow to go ahead and bypass, so that's good news. So I'm just going to go ahead and go on my bypass over In here. So let's go ahead and have a look and see if they're going to actually let me uh, exit or whatever. I don't see why not. Let me open up the window a little bit so if they want to say something to me. Then. Look at that Hummer over here. I think I've come pointed that out one time before. Not like a military Hummer out here. But yeah. Looks like we got the exit sign glowing. So I guess we'll be exiting here pretty soon. Yeah. Looks like they gave us the exit. So we'll hammer down. Alrighty guys. Let's go in here and let's see what this place has got to offer. Nice little big truck stop over here. It's like a husky or hot cakes. I don't know what they call this place, but got plenty of parking up there. You know, let's go inside and see if they got anything in here. Just taking my half an hour break up here and see what they got to offer up here. It's been the first time we stopped here, so let's go check it out. <laughs> Look at that pickup there. <laughs> you don't even have a headlight there on that side there. You see that? It's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's an old pickup eh wow yeah that is an old old pickup but anyways let's go inside and see what they got to say all right guys they don't have too much in here got a little bit of a dilly up here but other than that they really don't have a whole lot out here yeah they got us a little bit of a sandwich here and they got a microwave here so we're gonna warm her up a little bit this thing works but we'll give it a try oh, <laughs> that puts it at three minutes but they got this place over here that that makes sandwiches but uh, they apparently don't open till like 10 o'clock I'm like well I'm, I'm hungry now but, oh well they don't seem to care so anyways we'll have us a sandwich here and go from there well guys we are now on I-24 yes indeed we are, matter of fact, speaking already past Nashville, Tennessee. Oh yeah, do you guys see that little river up here to the left? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we're actually only about 150 miles away from our delivery already, so we will be uh, taking to continue taking this I-24. I'm already through that section where the uh, 24 sort of goes into Georgia for a few miles and then comes back out into Tennessee again. So I'm already past that stretch. All that good stuff. And I don't know, right now you might not be able to see it, but uh, the earlier it was quite foggier or whatever you want to call it. And uh, quite muggy. You can actually see it quite muggy out there today. And apparently it has something to do with uh, all the fires that they've been having in Georgia 
and that's causing the air to be foggy and smoky it smells like smoke sometimes so it's fairly foggy out here today but hey we're still able to continue cruising along here at our top speed at 60 mile an hour <laughs> well actually right now we're only doing about 58 yeah I'm just being careful out here going through this town here yeah anyways it's uh, my pleasure bringing the show to you guys today we get to see something a little different than what I have been showing for a good while now and a little different area than I've been at in a good while too so so let's get on down towards Atlanta and we gotta go all the way through Atlanta. So I should have gotten up a little earlier than what I did. But that's the way it is, so we'll have to deal with probably a little bit of traffic in Atlanta, but oh well. We'll just deal with it, be done with it, right? That's how it goes. But yeah, let's continue on with our journey and see what happens I am now coming into Atlanta Georgia we got 10 more miles to go up to that uh, 285 bypass that will take us around kind of the downtown area and so far everything seems to be smooth but it is uh, right on the verge of where we will start seeing some traffic so I I anticipate seeing some traffic there on the southern side of uh, Atlanta trying to get out of Atlanta so uh, we can probably in, uh, expect to see quite a bit up there we'll probably come to a stop up there and stop and go type of deal but oh well part of the part of this industry we gotta get through it which we will We'll get through it eventually. We'll just take a little bit of time. <clears throat> but yeah, we got a total of 51 miles to go to our delivery place. And uh, dispatch sent me a message uh, earlier saying that they're still working on a reload for me. So this sounds like they still haven't gotten anything concrete yet. Looks like we'll be spending the night at the customer probably which I wouldn't mind doing anyway so I'll probably just cook me a stew over there and whatever be done with it you know oh yeah we'll get our, get around Atlanta here and then uh, we'll see how it goes We'll see if we can show you anything up there all right guys we are at the customer and we have been here for a good while already and we're not waiting on really anything other than on the clock i guess you could say but yeah i went and updated my website and all that stuff for you guys and uh, now we're ready to go to bed here in a few minutes and yeah so we got us a reload offer yes indeed we did and i like it we're going to go to just south of london ontario so that's kind of fantastic but uh, hey we're gonna get out of here early in the morning so that means probably by 4 4 30 i'll probably be out of here so uh, yeah we got us about yeah, I said three and a half hours worth of driving to do so uh, so yeah we're gonna need to get out of here uh, for sure 4 30 in the morning and that's Eastern time that's 3 30 my time so we gotta go to bed man mm -hmm. so let's see uh, how that's gonna go tomorrow with our reload and all that good stuff so uh, appreciate you guys watching today and come and follow me on tomorrow's journey that would be appreciated yes indeed it would be so with that being said we'll see you on tomorrow's video don't forget to leave a comment hit that like button and if you are new we would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and come and follow us on our, along on our daily journey 
yes we make daily videos so uh, see you tomorrow right here on the trucker rudy show